Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Iceman Third ID. I thought I'd make a short video. Um, usually I don't do hype videos, but I think this is... I'm calling it. I'm doing a hype video. So, let's get this uh, hype train started. So, I've got some information. This is going to be a very short video. I'm going to give it to you as quick as I can. And i got to go to bed. So, here we go. Uh, introducing Atlas 1.3 update, 1.3 Atlas Rises, bringing a brand new, o an overhauled uh, central storyline portals, a new procedural mission system, all sorts of stuff. If you want to pause it and read it yourself, go ahead. It's really crazy. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to give you all of the source material for all of the stuff that you're about to see. A bunch of stuff got leaked. Don't know how it got leaked. Don't know who leaked it. Whether it was a hacker, whether Hello Games did some, you know, crazy stuff. But it, it, pause it, read the list for yourself of things that are coming in the next update. Those are supposedly patch notes. So, there you go. Pause it and read it. And then this was up on the website before it got taken back down. Alright, so we all know what this, know what this uh, uh, picture is from Waking Titan. And then look at this. You've got the glyphs lit up on the portal. So the glyphs on the device are also lighting up the glyphs on the portal. Here's one of the new pictures. Uh, you've got a Diplo here and a whole brand new UI. And we're going to take a little bit closer look at that. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff in here. First of all, you've got a new symbol up top there in the HUD. You got the car, and then you got the S symbol. You got a mission log now. You got local minerals to scan. Look at these local minerals, frost crystals. That's new. Never seen that before. Uh, you've got temperature. When is my critical exposure going to happen? In seven minutes. Now look at this guy. Dead end thralls. Dead end thrills. Check him out. This is the guy that took the picture. He's uh, worked for Bethesda, a bunch of other game studios he takes screenshots that's what he does he this is a this is an article from kotaku who says that duncan harris is from chipperham england and he runs dead and thrall dead end thrills.com now if you go there you'll see a bunch of no man's sky shots but that's not where these are from these shots are from the discord these shots and i believe that he's the one who took these shots uh i think hello games probably hired him to take some screenshots of the new leaked footage so yeah this is leaked screenshots from the new game long distance package deliver an item this is a mission look at the user up top there in the left hand corner 16 16 16 16 and so now there's missions in the game look at this have you ever seen a ship like that before check that ship out isn't that crazy look at the ground right there up front let's go ahead and zoom in on that never seen that texture before so there's gonna be some added textures added ships look at the clouds on that planet over there I don't think I've ever seen clouds like that there's going to be terrain modification tools look at that you can even change the material with which you're modifying the terrain with um, so he's actually adding terrain look at that beautiful uh, landscape right there look at the hexagonal uh, formations on the ground there that's crazy Looks like a whole new planet type. A crashed freighter. Look at the size of that thing. That is on the ground. It is a crashed freighter on the ground. Look at that. That's an exo vehicle right next to it. Look how small that exo vehicle looks next to this crashed freighter. Then you've got the galactic map. They've done some things with that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, you, The most interesting thing is probably the lines that you can see there. Then you've got the galactic core, which that looks like a spinning orb that kind of shows you where you're at. And you got power generation, uh, conflict level, all sorts of stuff. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a very short video. Thank you to Sunshine for making this video possible. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Anything else comes, I'll let you know.